hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm morgan alex if you're new here so go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and follow me on instagram at morgan alex underscore and on tiktok at morgan dot alex so it's my first day back at school um as you can tell by the title and if you're new here i attend clark atlanta university and this is going to be my junior year so my third year of college as i said it's my first day back it's actually like around 10 it's 10 8 i've already showered i had something to eat i'm drinking my tea right now and i'm really just about to do my makeup get my clothes on and head out and my next class is at 12 because my class at 10 this morning actually you know was more so virtual than in person until next week so last year when you know the last year was my first year on campus even though i was a sophomore because um first year freshman year was online due to covid so i didn't really understand my whole school and how everyone likes to dress up for first day of school and you know just do the most and i kind of missed the memo i missed the mark so i'll probably insert a picture of what i wore last year and it was just not giving now that i think about it and i feel like i want to look cuter so i've laid out some outfits so i have this outfit which is just like a bodycon dress with this like t-shirt over it i'm gonna fix it up but then here is a skirt and like a why well, this looks so yellow oh the light yeah this skirt and the crop top and then this is also another skirt with a bodysuit so before i do my makeup i'm gonna try everything on so i can see what i'm gonna wear and then do my makeup look number one so just this body can just do the top i don't know if i'm feeling it i mean it's cute to me but i feel like wearing a sneakers would make it so much cuter and i don't have a sneakers like I don't have one so I feel like this is more of a casual fit if you're in a sneakers so this white crop top with this skirt I really love the skirt and I really want to wear the skirt I honestly think this is really cute so so far I think I am loving this fit the most and of course when like I fix up my makeup and everything it will look much 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 better i like this but i also kind of feel like with the bodysuit and this skirt it's giving cover up it's giving i'm going to the beach and i'm covering up with this wrap skirt yeah it's kind of giving cover up going to the beach type of vibe so i don't think i'm gonna wear this but it would yeah i don't know i'm not sure not sure i'm gonna decide i took some pictures of it so while i'm doing my makeup and everything i'll decide what's the vibe that i'm feeling why not look cute on the first day why not go all out why not put the best foot forward and make the best impression i know you guys are looking in my dorm and you guys obviously must be thinking like oh you know i'm in the same dorm because it's set up pretty similar i will give you guys a story about my dorm i don't know if i should just do it now and done but it's set up the same way because i didn't buy anything like new or anything and i'm in the same building so you know the rooms are the same i did make a few changes which i think i'll likely do a tiktok on um like when i when my room is complete because it's not complete i don't have everything but when it's complete i think i'll do like a little tour a little dorm tour thingy thing on tiktok because last year when i started last year when i moved in like i, I wasn't as active on, on tiktok so i only did a youtube video and i'm not gonna do a youtube video again this year because as i said not much has changed i have to start over because i don't know what i just did with my eyebrow like it was crazy what i just did so the other day i did some eyeshadow and it came out actually like really nice and i was just like hmm why not see 
if I can do this thing for real or and i didn't do anything special i used like a brown base the last time so as a junior you are not really supposed to get housing on campus like housing is typically reserved for like freshmen and sophomores and then upperclassmen and stuff you just have to find your way technically that's what they'll do so not even the fact that you know i'm an international student we are considered or even in this priority no so um we had to well i had to sign up a housing interest form just to see if you know if they ended up having any extra housing on campus then you know i would just drop in to that yes yeah, so i did that form from like april and we didn't get any communication until july and the communication that we got in july was pretty much that hey we have no housing housing is full so in order to house us they contracted this outside apartment complex or whatever and that cost was like seven thousand five hundred dollars a semester so technically i'd be paying um like fifteen thousand dollars a year just for housing alone when living on campus i'm paying like seven five a year for on campus housing so i was just like you know that mm -mm, i'm not feeling that so you know i started exploring other options schooling elsewhere just a bunch of different options anyways to make a long story short, my mother and I decided to contact international programs to get some help and the international programs at my school and basically the lady who is the head of that division or program of that office, she petitioned with Residence Life on my behalf and then I literally got housing like, first of all, I had already moved I'd already came here to go to Orlando. When I left Jamaica going to Orlando, I didn't have housing or anything. And I just randomly checked my student account one day and saw that, you know, I was placed in a room. Well, I had a charge for housing on my account. So that is when I had to call in to say, you know, I'm seeing this on my account, like whatever. And they told me that yeah I was placed in a room and they told me my room number and that's how I got housing I had to be on them literally day in day out but no regrets I mean I'm in a six bedroom which is not what ideally a six bedroom is not what I would have wanted because I was in a four bed last year but you know so far so good so that's why everything looks the same because i'm on the same um building i'm just in a different room i'm even on the same floor with last year just a different room so my makeup is finished and yeah so now i'm gonna do my put on my jewelry and i think i'm gonna wear this fit which means i'm gonna have to steam this top just so that it doesn't look that bad the weather is kind of like bleaky today it's not very sunny and apparently rain is on the agenda still gonna wear sandals but because of the rain i think that look is a bit more you know cozy casual still kind of cute and you know when my hair comes down with it and i put on my sandals and everything then you know it's gonna be really cute This is the fit.
It's Morgan. fried chicken Wednesday. Go again. Oh, you're on the phone. Oh, it's fried chicken Wednesday. I don't know if I'm hungry or the food is actually good today. <laughs> it's not good. You is hungry. This is not normal. This ain't normal fried chicken Wednesday. The mac and cheese could be better. That's what don't taste the same to me, the mac and cheese. Mia just took my first day of school pictures. Let me show you guys. Because she be snapping. Yeah, can you believe it's our junior year? This like. <laughs> I cannot believe we have another year until we are seniors and out of here. Like, this is crazy. But we're heading to the promenade to watch, you know, whatever goes. So I've already had quite the day, um, but it's just 2 far you know. I don't have class until 4. My next class is at 4. But I am tired of just standing on the promenade, so I'm going to go to the lounge and sit down until class time actually i have no idea what room my next class is in is hey this is b school business school this is where most of our classes are held. So there is like a lounge in here. So I usually just come here sometimes because my class is in the same building um, at four, which is an hour and 15 minutes from now. So instead of walking all the way back to my room and I have nothing to do in my room, I'm gonna stay here. I really want something sweet though, like some ice cream. I'm just gonna sit, edit my photos, and use my phone, watch TikTok, all of that until it's class time. This vlog is a little chaotic because I didn't vlog in class today because I was sitting at the front and I forgot. But the lounge looks empty, so that's good. Not me being the only person in class right now but the class is money and banking i'm just logging in to check to make sure that this the classroom didn't move or anything oh it moved oh. so after sitting down for over an hour and going into class at four o'clock thinking my class starts at four when i literally check my thing my class time changed to 305 and i did not know and um hey i didn't know that my class changed to 305 and i missed the entire class i'm um, could have like what uh i'm going back to my dorm Hey guys, so I totally forgot about this vlog on Wednesday when I was filming my first day of school. Like, after the day was over, I was just like, Morgan, weren't you vlogging? But yeah, I decided to pick the vlog back up today since, you know, it wasn't much and I'm going out today. So of course, I'm going out with Grace and we are going to the new Coca-Cola. Yeah, we're going to the Coca-Cola Museum. I think this semester we're just trying to get out and do fun stuff literally so i did my makeup i think it looks really really good actually really pleased with the outcome yeah and then this is my outfit so this pink bodysuit with these jeans and then i'm gonna do my green sandals with it So I thought it would be like a really really cute like color blocking moment. I'm waiting on Grace to come and get me and then we're gonna go. Um, the only thing we have planned for sure is the Coca-Cola Museum which is at 2 o'clock. 
and then i think i don't obviously we'll probably get something to eat afterward or whatever or just chill together but yeah This is downtown ATL, baby. Trust me, folks. We're in the world of Coca-Cola. We got the, the little clip wasn't that bad. The theater was not that bad. Wow. $2,300 to acquire the formula and all right. That's cheap. That's super cheap. That is cheap. That is cheap. Sold it for $25 million. Vault of the Secret Formula. Oh, this is cute. Okay. 25 cents for a gallon of gas. 9.54 automobile. 9.54 a car. That's the little half, yeah. It's me. 25 cents toothpaste. A hundred dollar hotel. One dollar hotel? This is 25 cents shave and haircut. This is the Coke Mobile. The first thing I see how fast you can go. How fast I can go? How far? I guess how far, yeah. This is a world of beverage choices. I'm going to look and see if there are any like Jamaican or Caribbean drinks. Here, best selling brands. Vitamin water? I didn't know that. Sprite makes sense. Schweppes. So I think this is like their water treatment center. And then their filler capper. So before bottles can be filled, the inside of the bottle must be pressurized. This allows the force of gravity to draw the beverage into the bottle. The bottle inspector here, which is the empty bottle inspector, takes a picture of every bottle to examine its interior for defects and any bottle not meeting our standards will be rejected. The packaging robot, the fizzy box, unloads empty bottles and then puts it into production this is the taste it section so we taste like over a hundred drinks from all over the world different types of coke all that this is melon frosty from thailand okay. it tastes like something i've had before it's okay this one is from Germany. I don't know what it is. Mm. Mm -mm. This, mm. this is not good. Mm -mm. Yeah. This is disgusting. This is from Dominican Republic. <laughs> Oh, this is cola champagne. I wish that the tour was more Evelyn. engaging and not so self-led. 
I mean, it's just 3.48 though. It is, so it's it is. not dinner time. No. We could go see. Okay. So we are at the Georgia Aquarium. of the deep now so I think we're gonna see like sharks and stuff to be honest we really came here to see the dolphin show which is not until 5 4 15 now but these are some shark facts and shark shapes a great hemorrhage shark the tiger shark the sand tiger <laughs> Walking to the dolphin show that starts at 5, but it's 4.30 now, but you know, it's imperative that we get there early, sit down, and in here smells so raw. Like if you're not the type of person who, if you're gonna get seasick or, you know like them smell here, this is not the place for you. It smells so raw, like it's sick in here. Ugh. Okay, so we're finished at the aquarium and we're headed to get dinner to get some food of course My camera is actually dying so I might end up vlogging on my phone But if you're not a person who loves self-led tours Then maybe this tour or the aquarium is not for you because it's pretty much self-led You have to go watch everything read everything on your own learn about it on your own it was interesting but I preferred the things that were more engaging that people were talking and things that I could actually learn from rather than just like reading and doing everything on my own. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. I'm literally starving. It's good. The rice? Yeah. Taste the salmon. It looks white. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks too white for me. Okay. Where is this? Is my burger? Bring some lemon. You can consider this some sort of get on ready with me. So I am home. Gonna take my makeup off. But yeah, I had a really good day today. Honestly, like it just felt really nice being back and going out, experiencing new things. I've never been to any of the museums I've never not well I've never been to the aquarium and I've never been to the coca-cola museum honestly I had a good time and the only thing is as I said previously is I like a tour that is kind of like tour guide led and not really like self-led and because of that it was extremely packed so it just kind of felt frustrating sometimes to see the different things and to read about the different things and whatever because there were just so many people in there trying to do their own thing so i feel like i'm the type of girl who oh my god my nail broke off but i feel like i'm the type of girl to definitely 100 percent prefer a um tour guide led um experience like that but it wasn't bad and you know we had dinner at texas roadhouse honestly i didn't really love my burger but I still took home the other piece that I had left and yeah it's just 9 30 now so I'm home pretty early enough time for me to just shower get into bed and chill so I just wanted to talk which is something I was supposed to say like when I was doing the first day of school vlog that I have a really good feeling about this semester um 
there's one class that i really if i'm being very honest about like if i'm being very honest i don't have a good feeling about that class but i feel like i usually doubt myself and feel like Morgani can't do it and then I always surprise myself when I actually do it because no don't Dolly, Dolly always do good. I do the school thing, like the school thing is my thing, you get me? So I always kind of be like, yo, why are you even fretting? Like why are you even worry? Because you know you do the school thing, like come on. But still, so I feel like I doubt myself, surprise myself in the end and then the cycle goes on where I doubt myself again. But I feel like if I apply myself and not have like a mind block because it's like a math finance course and all of that then I feel like I can do really really good so even before when I found out that I was in a six bedroom here I was so like oh my god I was so anxious and I even cried about it because I just did not want to live in a six bedroom like that means I'm sharing a unit with five other girls it was just like oh my god why would God put me in a situation like this but so far so good i really like my roommates i talk more to the girls who live on my side because like three people to each side so the two girls that are on my side i'm talk more to them they're really cool girls they're really sweet they're clean and you know everything that you would want your roommate to be kind and everything very considerate girls and all of that and then i do talk to the girls on the other side as well and they're cool so yeah. it's not as bad as i thought that it would be so like that anxiety has calmed down and i'm feeling very hopeful about my classes there's as i said there's only one class that i'm just like like me really i forgot about maths and accounting and finance and all of them stuff there again i believe that everything happens for a reason and it will be all good that's the end of my chit chat thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't leave without subscribing to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye